The class of 2023 is just weeks away from graduating and joining the workforce, but with many companies announcing massive layoffs and others on hiring freezes, this group of seniors is entering an uncertain job market. Rebecca Castor spoke with students and faculty on campuses down in Louisiana and joins us live in New Orleans with more. Rebecca. Good evening, Anthony and Natalie. Economists say that the U.S. is not in a recession, but many companies are preparing for one. The college counselors we spoke with told us that there are jobs out there, but it will be competitive for graduating seniors. Yeah, I've been looking for jobs for quite a while already. Uh, it's been tough. I'm just doing my best. I think I cried when I got the offer. I sent out countless applications. It's grind time for seniors hoping to accept a job offer before graduation. We just need our students to prepare themselves for the competitive market. And that market is getting tighter. In the last six months, companies including Amazon, Disney, Meta, and Walmart have announced massive layoffs. But college career center directors say companies are still looking for entry-level hires. Businesses are trying to save money. Um, they know that they can get entry level candidates to come in and give their all and they're not going to be as expensive as some of the higher up. We're seeing a lot of industries really bulk up in their staffing and hiring like hospitality, tourism, education, healthcare. The National Association of Colleges and Employers also has good news for upcoming graduates. Its latest report says companies plan to hire about 4% more grads from the class of 2023 than they did from the class of 2022. It's a different job market, but it is not a, it's not a grim market. And I think that there are still ample opportunities for this generation of workers to find meaningful opportunities. After a three-year pause, student loan payments are also expected to resume soon. So many of the students we spoke with also told us that job security and income are top priorities in their search. In New Orleans, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.